So this is my Nokia N-Gage. I thought I'd do a quick video of this in case um, anyone's interested. Maybe I can remember enough to tell you some interesting bits and pieces. This was released at the end of sort of 2003, I believe, so it's fairly old now. Um, came out just before the PSP. And around that time, most people had very small little Nokia phones. And this was massive in comparison around that time. I'll just talk you uh, through what it's got. So this is your earpiece. And down here is your uh, microphone, charging port, and sort of USB data cable port. So when you're on a call, you would hold this up to your head like that, and you would look like a bit of a donut, really. I used to hold mine a little bit on the side, so you didn't look quite so stupid, but um, it wasn't exactly the nicest device to use for phone calls and things like that. But that's not really why I bought it back then. Of course, I bought it for games. Um, and as you can see, it's got a pretty decent D-pad. It's actually quite nice to use. It does have a central click button, which is pretty awkward, and you, you often need to use that to navigate uh, menus and games and stuff. You can see you've got your typical um, end, uh, end call and um, call buttons there, typical uh, phone keys there. Notice that 5 and 7 are raised up a little bit. They're generally what I used for the games. We've got a hardware um, MP3 player built in, um, an FM radio. That's your menu button. These two relate to what's on the screen. And there's cancel, and I think that was uh, composed text or something like that. I can't actually remember, to be honest. And on this side, we've just got the, the power button there. Let's see if that focuses. There you go. And this is the back, which uh, if you look inside there, you can see you've got your battery, your SIM card, and I've got an MMC in there. But that's where your games would go. Now, I did have some games, but I did sell them on a long time ago. Um, mainly because I discovered that you can back up the games and bung them on a memory card and have several games on the same card whereas obviously if you want to play a game you'd have to play it turn your phone off, pull the battery out and pop in your memory card so it wasn't exactly ideal for that there is a different model, uh, Engage QD which is slightly newer looks a bit nicer, it's a little bit chunkier it has the slot in the top for the memory card sort of around there um, but the uh, the QD is only mono sound and it doesn't have the hardware MP3 player and I don't think it has the FM radio and it also can't be overclocked whereas this version can although I don't remember trying that myself so that's the device itself um, I've also got in the bottom here I'll just show you this actually there's the loudspeaker which is actually pretty loud and around that time that was, this was probably one of the loudest phones on the market and then you've got your sort of headphones and microphone socket now these are 2.5mm uh, sockets I've got a, a headset here and somewhere right on the end there you can see that's how it used to plug in so that would pop in there um, but you can get 2.5mm to 3.5mm adapters which is what I used to use all the time for plugging your headphones in or recording the audio which I'm going to be using in a little while because I'll show you um, a bit of game footage um, so you can have a look what it's got so I thought I'd just cut to a better camera angle here so hopefully you can see the screen a bit better so your typical menu options are there what you'd have on a phone around that time you've got your messaging um, profiles tools and bits and pieces again I use that middle click there to get into there um, it's got Bluetooth yeah I forgot about that and that's obviously to access your memory card things like that and we've got this media folder in here where we've got a real one player sound recorder again sort of typical stuff that you'd have on a phone around that time and in the extras again just sort of boring stuff but I've added on this phone F Explorer which is like a file manager so you can move your files around on the memory card torch which was when you used to just uh, your typical torch just basically lit your screen up. I've got a smart movie player which is excellent. It, um, it also had a company in software for your Windows and what you do is you convert your films into a very small file format so you could watch them on here. So I'll show a little bit of footage of that later. Might have to put my thumb in front of it uh, because of copyright reasons. Um, but a really decent picture on that, good enough. Although the screen is tiny, about two inches. Um, got a Spectrum emulator, C64, Master System, uh, it's a SNES emulator. Most, apart from the SNES and the Mega Drive, the, the lower systems actually emulate pretty well. Just have to take into account of the low-res screen. Uh, there's a NES emulator, 
That's uh, Pandemonium, which is like a port of the PlayStation version, as is Tomb Raider. We've got a uh, main emulator there. Asphalt, which you probably know from sort of a lot of modern phones and uh, some consoles now, which is like a racing game. I think this is like the first platform it was on. Glimmerati, which is another racer. That's a really good sort of one. Again, I'll cut to some footage of this so you can see a lot of the games in a bit more detail. As you can see that's pretty awful with the sound on. With the sound off actually it's it's not too bad. It's not actually uh, unplayable. So I'm just going to turn that off. It doesn't matter what that's on. So back and back again. So without the sound on you can see it's actually pretty decent. It's not perfect. <laughs> and obviously the screen, the picture is a bit distorted there but it's still actually um, playable. So at the time I was really impressed with this. Um, I didn't spend too many times playing this, but yeah, there you go, it's quite capable. 
So lastly, I thought I'd show you Smart Movie. Um, this made the movie sort of like 50, 60 meg. I'll just put my thumb in the way here. Hopefully that will stop uh, any copyright claims. Basically, the movie, the, the quality is... It's obviously, you know, the audio quality is reduced. I think the frame rate's dropped a little bit, but the actual quality of the video is, is decent. It's very good, really, because at the time it was um, really impressive. So there you go. There's a little bit of uh, game footage and emulated footage for you there. Sorry for the rough cuts there. I'm not too clued up with Premiere just yet. Hopefully I'll get some better looking videos out sometime soon. But that was a quick look at the Nokia N-Gage. It's a decent little device. Obviously by today's standards it's pretty old and uh, you know, you've got to be a bit of a collector if you're really interested in this sort of thing. There are the few exclusive games that are on here are actually pretty decent. Um, Asphalt, Glimmerati, um, Sonic N and there's there's quite a few other games out there. There's probably something like 40, 50 um, physical uh, games that you can buy and on here I've also got a few S60 games like Another World and Carmageddon um, and games like that they would run on the other Nokia phones around the time the other smartphones I think it was a 6600 something like that I used to have as well um, so you can also put S60 software on here as well so if you want something to tinker about with and you know you're into sort of collecting things like this not a bad little system to get quite cheap and that's it. So um, hopefully this video has been interesting to someone. If it has, please um, leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of thing. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.